Joining us now is a man with skin in the game, uh, Brian Athad. Uh, he's Green Organic Dutchman Holdings CEO. The Green Organic Dutchman is a global organic cannabis company with operations focused on medical cannabis markets in Canada, Europe, as well as Latin America. Great to see you. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So the legalization in Canada, what is that? bottom line mean for your business? Well, it's an exciting day. I mean, this is like the end of prohibition for alcohol. Um, we're taking a market that already exists. It's a huge market. Deloitte's estimates about six and a half billion today in the black market, gray market, and can grow to eight to ten billion in, in Canada with uh, legalization. Um, and that's across all different types of product forms and it'll take some time for the black market to convert to legal but uh, it's really an incredible day and really the beginning. An interesting analogy, uh, prohibition uh, and alcohol, how much of this is for essentially purposes of altering your mind as opposed to medicinal or other purposes? Well today the legal market has been all medicinal um, prior to this and as you see countries rolling out in Europe, Latin America, everywhere else it's focused on medicinal but really recreational tends to follow after that. Once recreational becomes legal it becomes a majority of market um, and really there you are looking at replacing other products like beverage alcohol. Uh, w so which industries can this disrupt the most? We focus a lot on say the beverage industry uh, but what other industries can it? Uh, pharmaceuticals, if you think about opioids and the opioid mm -hmm. crisis they're talking about marijuana now being an exit drug. It used to be considered a gateway drug, right? So um, there's a big disruption there for, um, for opioids, pain medications, um, epilepsy medications, stress relief, um, sleep disorders, um, when it comes to tobacco as well and then clearly beverage alcohol. But if you look at beverages, even beyond that there's a whole other area. Everyone's focused on THC, which is mm -hmm. the cannabinoid that gets you high, that's psychoactive, but there's over 100 different cannabinoids in the plant. And the next popular one is, is called CBD, cannabis oil, and it actually has a lot of medicinal benefits. And if you put that into beverages, you can have sports recovery drinks, um, all sorts of other types of categories. What, what are the costs and what are the margins? Um, right now, I mean, no one's at scale yet, but if you look at when everyone builds out their facilities, including ourselves, uh, we expect our cash cost of production to be below a dollar a gram. And I think all of the bigger scale producers will be in that range. Um, smaller craft producers will obviously be higher. Um, and then the current selling cost on average is about $9. Uh, for organic is about 12, so it's a 30% mm. percent premium. Um, but I expect that to come down as you have more production come online in the next 18 to 24 months. So you will see price compression, but we'll be able to maintain our organic premium. I was talking to a hedge fund guy uh, a couple weeks ago who was looking at like the next opportunity and he was choosing between cannabis and Bitcoin or blockchain I should say and he just didn't want to do cannabis. He just felt like it was just a little bit too risky. It wasn't proven yet. What do you feel like we're going to need to see for those hedge fund guys to feel like it's a proven business? Well, if you, if you look at it, the market already exists. For me, I, I, I honestly don't understand Bitcoin and, and the economics behind it. But here, this is a real physical product. That but does it have to sold. come from like, uh, a, you know, Pepsi buying a, a cannabis company or J&J &J buying a cannabis company? Does it have to come from uh, adoption into other really big industries? No, it'll be a combination of both. You'll have a purely cannabis company and cannabis plays that are building CPG kind of brands. I mean, this is going to be like any other beverage alcohol brand or, or CPG brand. Um, and uh, it, some of it will come from others who are being disrupted, wanting to get into the space and, and make sure that, that they're not missing out on it. It'll be a combination of both. Is there a discount to the value of a company in cannabis because of this concern? I mean, I interviewed the head of CVS recently and said, when will we have cannabis-related products in CVS? He said, no time soon. And that's sort of a reputational issue, basically, in this country at least. Is there a discount to the value? There, for, for sure there is, just because it's still early stages of the industry, so you've got a lot of operational risk. Um, there's over 100 licenses in Canada. I mean, in five years from now, I can't imagine there being more than 20 to 30 kind of players. So um, for, for sure there is a discount. But if you look at who's being disrupted, you were talking about pharma earlier. I mean, the top three pharma companies have a market cap of close to a trillion dollars, right? The top three beverage alcohol companies have a market cap of about 800 billion. Top three pharma is about 400 billion. The top six cannabis companies is less than 60 billion. I mean, that, that's a huge disruption of those different industries. It'll take time. The black market's not going to go away overnight. It'll take a few years. But so, the value's there. So in terms of the, the valuation of the equities that we've seen, like a Tilray, for example, are, are those like legit valuations? It, it's, it's hard to look at it right now when you don't see a lot of revenue and no EBITDA. Yeah. But if you look in future where this is going, this isn't a new market. It's not like dot com where they were measuring eyeballs and computer screens. This is real revenue that's in the black and gray market becoming legal. So I believe the, the revenue and EBITDA will be there and um, that valuation will, will prove itself. In fact, I think there's a lot of upside there.